Hey everybody, I'm Mary and this is my Simple Cottage Life. You and me hanging from the willow tree quietly drifting in the open breeze. I've had some questions about the fence I put up and the fabric that's on top. It makes a wonderful, quick, easy privacy fence. Now I think I did this two years ago. I'm not quite sure, but I will put the link to my original video in the description. My son and I put this up. Now he drove the posts in the ground and this is what the T posts look like. And he had a post driver because he has fencing like this all over his property and he has goats. So he's got this kind of fence. So here's what the cattle panel looks like right here. This. And we attached it to the T-post using zip ties. And you can see this is, like I said, at least two years ago. And it's still in such good condition. This is the fabric that I used. I ordered it from Amazon, but I understand that Walmart sells it too. And I bought a 50 foot roll for this. It goes all the way to the end of my property that way and comes all the way this way, all the way down. So first we put the T-posts in. Then we attached the cattle panel, like I said, using the zip ties. Then I took the polyester fabric and attached them using zip ties once again all the way down. Now that this stuff comes in lots of colors. It comes in green. This is brown. Uh, it has, I think it comes in black and I know it comes in white because I used white on my carport, and I'll show you that in a minute. But here it is, all the way down, still holding strong. Here's what it looks like when you put more than one. So that's from here all the way down. That way is 50 feet. And then this one was another 50 feet going all the way down that way. So see, here's how we've got them connected. I might put another zip tie right there I'm not sure but it's secure as it can be to this fencing and to these t-posts there's no holes in it make sure that you use all the grommets down at the bottom because the wind can come up under and tear it up. The guy across the street from me has used this on his property. And for some reason, his has come loose at the bottom. I can only think that the people who put it up for him didn't put enough zip ties across the bottom to hold it. So make sure you do that. Plenty of zip ties. Every grommet should have zip ties holding it somewhere, either to, to the T-post or, all right, see this right here? Here's where it's come loose, see that? All right, all I've got to do, 
for some reason that's not attached to that T-post. I don't know why. That's two pieces of fencing in there, and it should have been, and it isn't. Oh, I'm glad to see that. I'm going to go get my zip ties right quick. Okay, so I zip tied them back. So every year or so, it's a good idea to check them, make sure they're still firmly attached. Make sure the uh, cattle panel is firmly attached to the T-post, and this is what I use. Zip ties. I buy them in big big sacks of them so I have done that all the way down I have checked to make sure that they're nice and attached firmly all the way down now you see that you can see the property next door but you can't really make a lot out like there's a house way up there but it's really hard to see um, it does, because it does have small openings in the fabric, which is polyester, you do get some breeze through it, so it's not completely like you're, um, you know, putting up a big piece of plastic or anything. It's not like that at all. You do get some breeze. And as far as privacy goes, I mean, because, because you do, it is breathable, and you do get a little air through it, it can't be fully uh, a privacy fence. However, nobody really sees you. I come out here in my pajamas all the time and I'm not worried about anything. People from the road, they're not gonna be able to see me. So that's the way that goes. And now let me take you around and show you the front, but that's where I've done the white, the white. Up. So here's the white color. And I have it up on these that were already here so that's this right here is the cattle panel and this is white now because it's white it's, di it's different than the brown I got you really can't see through that my car is on the other side of that and you don't see it so the white seems to be uh, more private than the brown for some reason and it still has these little holes, these little breathable holes, but it looks a little thicker to me than the brown. So that's what the brown is. And across the road, they've got some yellow, not yellow, green. But like I said, they, they have not secured theirs at the bottom. So it's blowing up and it's ripping. Just make sure you've secured it all the way across using the little uh, grommets. So, once a year, check to make sure your zip ties have, are still holding, because they get brittle in the sun, and the rain, and the cold, and just um, put some new zip ties on. So that's my update.